If these walls could talk, they'd shed new light on a story known around the world. I really do believe it. It's like without Syracuse, there's no wonderful Wizard of Oz. In the 1880s, L. Frank Baum married here, setting him on a yellow brick path to writing what's been called America's first homegrown fairy tale. Author Elizabeth Letts was intrigued by that backstory. When you do historical fiction like I do, um, you visit a place that doesn't exist anymore, which is an area as it existed in the past. The way that I do that is maps, photographs, letters, diaries. As she read The Wizard of Oz to her son in California, Letts realized what a modern sensibility the book still had. She gives a lot of the credit to Baum's wife, Maud, the daughter of suffrage leader Matilda Joslin Gage. Let's book Finding Dorothy uses solid research to imagine the story through Maud's eyes. From the beginnings here in central New York where both bombs grew up, to Maud's battle to keep Frank's vision alive as MGM made the 1939 film classic with Judy Garland. If this were the modern day, Frank could have stayed home and take care of the kids and told them stories and played his piano and he would have been very happy. And Maude was a born businesswoman. You can't listen to the news, you can't read the newspaper or watch TV without hearing an Oz reference all the time. The man behind the curtain, the yellow brick road. Uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. And there's a real reason for that. Finding Dorothy has been chosen as this year's selection for the Central New York Reads One book campaign, urging readers to read the book over the next few weeks and talk about it. That's something that has really touched the author. When you say this, you, you, I'm getting goosebumps. To have the community that I, as an outsider, came in and, and described a piece of, embrace my story and say, hey, we think you did a good job, that's an incredibly validating for me. Syracuse Stage will host Elizabeth Letts for a live Zoom conversation on the book next Thursday. We'll tell you how to join in on the Tell Me Something Good page under the Community tab at localsyr.com. I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. Tell us something good. You have a great story worth sharing? Send us an email at somethinggood at localsyr.com or you can post it to social media. Just use the hashtag somethinggoodsyr.